Hello everyone, on this video we are going to build a widget that shows different layouts on landscape and on portrait mode. You can see here we pass one widget as portrait and another one as landscape. Let me show you like this. As started project we have already here the portrait mode so if we, we go to the main app, we have here just the app and my own page. And on my own page, we have just the two constants, one for the dog image, another for the cat image, and a simple widget with a sky code and a seafarer and a column. Let's start by moving this to another widget and create the portrait mode and the landscape mode. Stateless widget and let's call it protate content. Portrait content. Oh, okay, it's good. We can copy this part. Paste it here. And this here. We don't need this. Let's run again just to check how it looks now. If I change the orientation, change the orientation. I have here the keys so. Command arrow left and command arrow right. And as you can see, it's the same widget both on portrait and landscape. You can see here the orientation. Let's create a widget that can be reused when we want different layouts for different orientations. Back. Body. Tracer widget. So it's a status widget. An import material. It receives two widgets. One for trade. And another one for one skip. Require this just close so this for update require this for landscape. We can pass the key to the super key. And here to turn an orientation builder and the builder takes the context and the orientation. And it returns the orientation this portrait the portrait widget else the landscape widget so the widget is just like this it's very simple but useful so let's copy the name and use on our page so here we can wrap this set a widget. This widget is orientation widget. Space. We need to import it. And this one is for portrait. And for landscape, we can create another one. So 
once cape content let's change the name to once cape content and here it's a row and the text once cape so once cape and here the image the cat image use this here landscape landscape content and this can be constant let's try it and you can see here it changes the image from the cat to the dog and it's a row thanks for watching if you like the content don't forget to subscribe Press the like button and see you in the next video.